of running around the same old spot. How's it going everybody? Danny here again. Before we start going, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So today, for the last, I don't know how many years, maybe, maybe, maybe 15 years, my go-to, like, ultimate overdrive setting is my Telecaster Custom 1972, all original, going through my divided by 13, um, JRT 15.9 or 9.15. Um, my favorite recording amp, I do all clean and overdrive through it. For the overdrive tones, I use the Klon KTR a lot, and I always like to go through the original Boss DM2, um, just to color the sound a bit, not to really get any delay going. And today, after years of using this and miking it up, I want to see if I can compare it with the Helix Native plugin, which I purchased a little while ago, and see what I feel. I like them both, and we'll see what my conclusions are. So I'll record a few clean samples, I'll record a few overdrive samples, and then we'll take this basic bass, drums, and acoustic guitar track I have and just put a left-right of electric overdrive guitars and see what works best to me. I have no idea in advance. I'll be surprised. Let's find out together. Let's go. Completely clean sound, just a divided by 13 bridge pickup. Now, let's add a bit of delay. So I added just a bit of delay just to color up the tone a bit. Now with the clown. So for all these samples I've just recorded, I'm going to go ahead and just do the exact same thing on the Helix Native, and then we'll AB the two. Okay, so what we have now are the SM57, U47 grouped in this group channel called Demo. And right here, if I solo this, I will hear the same part recorded on the Helix Native. So right here I have the divided by 13 uh, amp model the, and I'm using an external IR by Tone Junkie which I find a lot truer to the original than the Line 6 IRs I'm not crazy about them what I recommend is every IR website have like a free pack so you can play around with them and then once you find something you really like you can purchase the whole pack from the website you like so this is the same Celestian Gold speaker that my original amp has. And it's sampled with a ribbon mic, an R121, and an SM57. So this is the amp and the IR. The delay is off right now. So let's listen to the amp first with the two mics. <laughs> Now let's listen to the Helix Native, and then I'll A-B them as we go. I could probably tweak it a bit more and uh, get the frequencies closer, but it sounds pretty cool and pretty close. 
Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm going to click on the delay here. That same here, you can see it this way better. The same DM2 pedal. And now let's compare the two. Just a bit of color of delay. So this is the original amp and original delay pedal. And now the Klon KTR, so we got it right here. Let's turn it on. Let's hear the original. So once again I could probably add some post EQ to get it closer but I'm not sure I want it. So that was cool, now I'll go lay some guitars on the song. So now I'll record one guitar part with the clown, with the delay, for the song. And now we'll record the higher guitar part for the song. Once again, now I'll put those exact guitar parts on the song using the Helix Native and then we'll compare them. Alright, the final test. Let's see how the guitars are working on a song. So right now here we have, this is the bass, drums and acoustic guitars. And here I have guitar left, the two mics on the original amp. Here I have guitar right, two mics on the original amp. Here I have Helix playing guitar part 1 on the left, and I have the Helix 2 playing guitar part on the right. By soloing this amp, I'll hear the amp guitars. By soloing this, I'll hear the Helix. Let's start. Wait a minute. So my conclusions, I wrote them down so I don't forget. Taking the AMP Klon KTR DM2 SM57 mic, U47 mic, my API preamps and add cables, stands, power supplies, pedal boards, Velcro, that whole mess is about $6,000. The Helix Native is $400. Bucks. Um, I also didn't actually buy the native alone. I bought the HX Stomp for 600 bucks, and then you get uh, an option to buy the Helix Native for another 100 bucks, and that's what I went for. 
because then you can also take all those tones with you anywhere you go, whether you're playing live, rehearsing, or recording somewhere else, and you have those tones you love with you. Now, also the whole mess of miking, connecting, and it's so loud, so you need isolation, and that also costs more money. That's a serious pain. Um, so the convenience issue is just, you can't even compare that. The only minus I did see in the native, the Helix native, is you got to spend a lot, a lot of time tweaking that thing. But I guess if you're getting to know mics and rooms now, it'll probably take the same amount of time. I just know my room and I know my mics really well, so I already do it really quick. Now, tone-wise, after recording and listening, I think after recording and after mixing it all, I probably, I don't know if I tell the difference. They both sound great. But what would I use each for? I'm not going to sell my amps and pedals since I already have them. If I was starting out, I probably wouldn't go and get new ones of those. Spending so much money... I don't know if it's worth it and back pains of carrying all that stuff I guess if I have uh, like this ultimate guitar album I'd still use the amp it does have that old soul in it that is worth having and just playing and tweaking it, it kind of brings more creativity out of me and it'll probably affect my playing. Again, I won't probably hear it in the end, but the whole process, if it'll get me more creative, I'd like to have that in there. Um, but as for the future, I kind of see it like there's still some people listening to vinyl because it brings something out of them, but most of the world went with the digital, or there's still photographers that use film, but the advantages of... Uh, going with the digital and the Photoshop are also unbearable. So that's kind of think, uh, what I think I'm going with. Play around with it, let me know. Anyway, thank you Line 6 for making such an amazing product and thank you Fred Tacone from Divided by 13 for making the best amp ever made, to me at least. So, uh, if you like this, please subscribe, stay in touch, and let me know if there are any videos you'd like me to post up here research tips. I like to be in touch with you. Later everybody.